Many migrants find novel ways to share their history in a new country. And generations on, the Canets have literally woven the past into a men's clothing range. I'm Paul Cannett. I'm Jonathan Cannett, and we're both directors and founders of Wolf Cannett. And we sell everything from suits, jackets, shirts, ties, pocket squares, underwear, socks, shoes, basically anything a man wears, we, in, in terms of dapper dressing, no, we supply. Collar, spot on. Wolf Cannett, the brand, is named after our grandfather, Wolf Cannett. Well, Wolf Cannett came to Australia seeking a better life. His family were persecuted in, in Belarus. We, we say the brand is born in 1926, and that's when Wolf started his first tailoring business in Melbourne. But Wolf was a very stylish man. Wolf was quite a kooky guy. He, he, he was a real character. He would, always, he would come up to you and go, so? <laughs> and you're waiting for him to say, well, so what? <laughs> Essentially, five years ago, we decided to reinvigorate our business and we wanted to put, put a bit more passion and life into what we were doing. And so we actually came up with this idea of the Wolf Cannot brand. That way we could draw on all our heritage, but we could also embellish it with all the aspects of Wolf which were interesting and exciting. And, you know, whether it's the card playing, or the following the horses, or the, the love of travel. We name each of our suits, and each of the names has some sort of connection to Wolf's origins and where he came from. This particular suit um, being one of the pinnacles of his range is called Majesty. Um, if we have a look at the labelling inside, you even see we've got one of the minarets, which is taken from the St Basil's Cathedral in in Moscow in the Red Square, which you can see today. Wolf Cannot was a card player, so you have the Ace of Spades button. You see that Ace of Spades coming through in the lining with the WK inside. We have a vintage Belarusian stamp. We do edged stitching. We even have blue under collar, which represents the Baltic Sea. So everything is designed from the ground up. Things that uh, Wolf always dreamed about was going back, back to the homeland uh, one day and, and travelling on the Trans-Siberian Railway. So we designed a pair of boots in his honour um, and we pictured a, um, the train car from the Trans-Siberian Railway. The belts, there's a little touch here which says, from Russia with love. Men's retail today is challenging uh, the world over. How are you today? Excellent. And so for us to launch in a challenging market, we have to be something that's special and unique. I think one of our competitive advantages is that um, our team is fundamentally made up of four brothers who are all on the same page. Because Wolf Cannett was so strong and his DNA is so powerful, it's really easy to represent him in a, in a brand. And so for us, the upside of it is it's actually economically or commercially better to do that as well. The, the business has a multi-million dollar turnover um, and it's, uh, it's enjoying good growth. This particular store that we're standing in is the, the very first flagship store for Wolf Cannon. So it's our, it's, in fact, it's our only standalone store. I take a, a lot of pride in that Wolf Cannon came from a totalitarian regime. He fled to Australia, in a sense, for survival. So when we look at the, where, where Wolf started um, and where we are today, we're, we're extremely proud as a family. Coming up 